Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we are doing a yin yoga class to find a better posture. So we're gonna roll through a series of poses that we're gonna hold for quite a while to really get into our connective tissue, really relaxing those muscles so that we can try and find a more elongated spine. So how I've constructed this class is we're gonna start from uh, more towards the top of the head, the neck and shoulders, and then kind of work our way down, eventually getting into the hips to try and find a nice long spine. So we're gonna start by just sitting in a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall right on top of your sit bones, and then just very gently closing your eyes. So just take a second to connect with your breath, Imagine sending your breath really deep into your belly. So as you inhale, your belly expands, and as you exhale, it contracts and releases that air out. So breathing from a very deep place. And throughout this class, if at any point you notice that your mind starts to wander, you start to lose focus, or you have the temptation to fidget, just bring your awareness back to your breathing and continue to send your breath down into your belly just like we're doing right now. And we'll just softly blink the eyes back open. And we're going to take our, our right ear, let it rest towards your right shoulder, so we're stretching into the left side of your neck. And now from here, you're going to walk your left hand out away from you, just to intensify the stretch ever so slightly through that neck. Now you have the option of staying here for the remainder of this pose, or you can take your right hand very gently place it above your ear and feel like you're just applying the smallest bit of pressure to your head. Feel like you're trying to separate your ear away from your shoulder, so you're pulling these two places apart rather than just pressing down onto your head. So it's more of a, more of a diagonal motion, you could say. And we're gonna be here for about another minute, so Remembering to breathe. And now if you had your right hand over your head, use that hand to very gently guide your head back to center, very slowly, no rush at all. Take a deep breath, and we'll do that same thing on the other side. So now letting your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. Feel that stretch to the side of your neck. Reach your right arm out beside you. And then take your opposite arm, if this is what you did on the first side, try to repeat that same position here. Again, feeling like we're pulling these two places apart. Try to maintain a tall spine as we do this. Breathing deeply, always reminding yourself to come back to the breath. I'm trying to resist the temptation to fidget. Here for another minute.
And once again, if that left hand was up overhead, you're just gonna use it to very gently bring your head back to center. And sitting up tall once again. From here, we're gonna come to hands and knees. So making your way to a tabletop pose. On an inhale, lift the right arm all the way up. And then exhale, we're gonna thread this arm all the way down onto the floor. Make sure your knees are right underneath your hips here. And then you can keep this left arm beside you as we settle into this pose, or you can have that arm just resting behind your back, kind of reaching towards your opposite thigh. Choose your variation and just get comfortable. We'll be here again for about a minute and a half. If your left arm was behind your back, bring it back underneath your shoulder. Push into that arm. We're gonna inhale that right arm back up overhead. See if you can twist farther than the first extension. And then gently place that right hand back down onto the floor. We're right away gonna repeat that on the other side. So inhaling the left arm up this time, finding a twist. And then exhale, thread that arm all the way through. Relax your left ear onto the floor. And then again, you can keep your right arm, your right hand under your shoulder. You can bring it around behind your back. Anywhere that feels comfortable. Remembering to breathe. Trying to keep your body still and your mind still. And we'll be here for another minute and a half. Gently bring your right hand back under your shoulder if it was behind your back. Push into that hand. Inhale your left arm all the way up. 
exhale, placing it back down onto the mat. We're going to lower all the way down into your stomach, coming into Sphinx Pose. So coming onto your forearms here, and now you will need to engage through the arms slightly. So you want to push your elbows into the floor and rotate the head of your arm bones back so your shoulder blades are somewhat coming together towards the back, pushing your shoulders away from your ears. The closer your elbows are to your body, the more intense of a stretch this will be. The farther away, the less intense. So play with the range of motion here, where you feel the stretch the most. Again, remembering to breathe deep into your belly, so you should feel your belly expanding in and out of the mat as we breathe here. And we'll be here for about two minutes. the option of staying here in this sphinx pose or you can progress into seal which means you're going to come all the way up onto the palms of your hands pushing into the floor shoulders are still pressing down and away from your ears this is more of an intense back bend of course and we're going to hold here just for another minute of course, if you are still, if you're remaining in Sphinx pose, we'll stay there for one final minute, continuing to breathe. gently and slowly let your spine roll back down onto the mat bring your hands together and just let your forehead rest on top of your hands and just sort of let your spine recalibrate in this neutral position before we continue so just taking a couple of breaths not staying too long here Notice any sensations through the spine or through the neck and shoulders. And before we continue, we're just going to push back, knees together, feet together. Let your arms come by your sides and just let your spine curve now over top of those legs. 
We're only gonna take about eight breaths here. Just allowing your spine to curve after that intense arch. So finding this counter pose. Again, noticing any sensation through the back. And we'll make our way back up. Coming back onto your stomach. This time, open your arms out so that they're at a 90 degree angle, so we're making the ca a cactus arm on both sides. And you're going to bend your left arm in so it's under your shoulder. Bend your knees so they're at 90 degrees. And then just let your feet fall towards the right side and you can push yourself open, stretching into the front of your chest. So this lying chest opener here. And again, just like with thread the needle, you can leave your hand here or place it behind your back. I find it a little bit too difficult to balance and keep myself in the stretch without my arm here. So I'm going to stay here, but you can do whatever variation works best for you. Again, just breathing deeply into that side. Feeling your chest expand and melt into the floor. And relax through your neck as we do this. Continuing to breathe. Very gently, let your body roll back onto your stomach. Release your left arm back into that 90 degree cactus shape. Flip your eyes to the other side. We'll bring your right hand now in under your shoulder. Bend the knees once more, rolling onto the left this time. Again, breathing deeply. Your hand can also, your right hand, can also come behind your back. Feeling that lengthening through the chest.
yourself to roll back onto your stomach. Let your legs extend. Push yourself on up. And from here, we're just going to flip over. So come into a seated position. We're going to come into caterpillar pose. So you can allow your legs to extend out in front of you. And you can just let them relax. We don't have to engage through the knees or through the feet or anything like that. Just totally relaxing. Now, I like to do this pose in yin with a block, just so I can give my head a little bit of support. And I'm not just um, fully letting my head hang forward, but it's totally up to you. If you don't have a block, you can also use um, a cushion on your legs here to lie down on, or a really thick book similar to this size. Um, play with what you have around the house and just see what feels most comfortable. But ideally, what we want to happen is we're relaxing through the legs and also relaxing through the spine. So we can start in this nice tall place, and then you're just gonna on an exhale, let yourself fold forward and just breathe into this curve. You can allow your legs to turn out slightly. I find it helps to place my hands on the floor, palms facing up as I settle into this pose. Your knees can bend slightly. They don't have to stay perfectly straight. Again, always trying to resist the temptation to fidget. We'll be here for quite a while. So really allow yourself to settle into this pose. Let your body melt forward. Finding total relaxation. So there shouldn't really be any engagement whatsoever in the body here. We're allowing gravity to do the work. Continuing to breathe nice and deep.
So to come out of this posture, very gently use your hands to walk yourself back up. Really no rush, nice and slow to come back up to your seated position. You can move your block off to the side if that's what you were using. And you'll want to rotate yourself to face the long edge of your mat. And we're gonna extend the right leg out to the side, bringing your, the sole of your left foot in towards your inner thigh. And then from here, we'll inhale to sit up tall. And then on an exhale, you're just gonna let your head pull you all the way over into a side stretch. And again, my favorite way to do this pose is to actually just let my head rest in my hands. So I'm really allowing my neck to release, my upper body to release, and just letting myself literally hang out here in this pose. You should feel, or you are aiming to feel, a nice stretch through the side of your body. And I like to place my left hand just on my knee and just breathing here as always. And we'll be here for a few minutes. Use your hands again to push yourself back up to your seated position. And we're gonna go right away and do that on the other side. So opening up your left leg this time, right leg will bend in towards your inner thigh. Again, inhale, just grow and find a long spine. And then on an exhale, you're gonna let your head pull you over to the side. And then again, just allow the weight of your head to relax into your hand in any way that feels comfortable to you, maybe into your palm, maybe you wanna make a fist. Bring your opposite hand to your right knee. 
breathing into the side of your body. And settling in, breathing deep. Once again, very, very gently, use your hands to push yourself back up into a seated position. Nice and slow. We're going to come all the way down onto your back. Again, with no rush. Releasing yourself down. Let's maybe take a second, bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips, and then just allow your knees to fall in towards one another. And just take a second to check in with your spine, see how it feels. Does it feel nice and long across your mat? How does the side of your body feel after those half butterfly stretches? And our last pose before we come into Shavasana is just going to be happy baby. So bringing your feet up, flexing towards the ceiling, elbows on the inside of your knees, hands on the outside of your feet, lightly pulling those knees in closer towards your armpits. And typically in a vinyasa class, I would invite you to sway side to side here, but because this is yin and we're trying to really be still in our poses, I'll invite you to just relax into this posture. Let the weight of your arms and hands be what pulls your feet closer to the floor. So we're not engaging through the arms too much here. 
Breathing through the hips and the low back. Try to keep that lower back on the floor as much as you can. And we'll breathe here for about another minute or so. Remembering to send that breath deep into your belly. Very gently and with control. Release the hold of your feet. Bring your feet back down onto the mat. And then we're right away. Just gonna extend your legs out, finding Shavasana. Let your arms be by your sides. Take up lots of space here. Again, take a moment to check in with your spine and see how it's feeling as we lie against the floor. And as always, trying to breathe from a very deep place. And just letting your body melt into the floor.
gently you start to come back into your body. We go on your fingers and toes. Circle your ankles and wrists. Turn your legs in and out. When you're ready, roll over onto the right side of your mat. Take a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, push yourself up into a seated position. And I will turn to face you as if we bring our hands together in front of our hearts and bending forward. Namaste. Thank you so much, dancers, for doing this practice with me. I hope your spines are feeling nice and elongated and that you feel that you have really great posture after that class. I know that my spine feels amazing after that. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I put out new yoga videos now in both vinyasa and yin styles every single Friday. So thank you once again, and I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Bye.